You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and a fan favorite again, Paul Engel, director of the library. Hey, Paul, how hey, you Mark. doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, yeah. So summer is finally upon us, even though some days the weather doesn't feel <laughs> like that. We're right at the end of May. We're heading into June. Yep. We're gonna, let's talk June and summer events at the library. There's always a lot going on. That's right. We don't slow down in the summer no, much we, at all. Really. I think we're busier. It seems like that. Because the schools are closed, yep. so safe places for people to go. That's right. Good events. There's all sorts of events. You've already started Kids Can Code. That's right. That's Brock happening now, but it's going all the way through August. So tell yeah. us about that. Well, Brockton Kids Can Code. It's um, it's uh, funded through a grant from the Massachusetts Library uh, System. Um, uh, actually, no. It's funded through the MBLC, the Massachusetts Board of Library, Library Commissioners. Commissioners. Yep. And uh, it's a, it's for kids kindergarten age all the way up to grade five. Mm -hmm. And we're teaching them the fundamentals of coding. And we're using uh, iPads that we purchased with the grant money to, uh, to illustrate um, um, graphic coding. Which, which uh, you know what, I should probably go back and learn that yeah, too. Yeah, I should too. I feel I like I'm a dinosaur. Everything. Okay, <laughs> but it's K through five. There are Monday and Saturday classes that are um, a, a, a four to five p.m. Yes. And then on Saturday, they're at 11. At 11, yes. 11 to noon. So they're one hour in length, so just, enough just enough, because attention spans, you never know. Yeah, right? well what's good about it is, while we're running the Kids Can Code program for that age group, we're also offering things in the children's room for older kids. We're doing movies, we have other other things that they can do so their siblings can do the Kids Can Code, and they can be in there and not be not be bored. And uh, you know, if you look at on the library website, BrocktonPublicLibrary.org, sure. yep. everything's there, there's a nice event Keeper Calendar has all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of promos on the front page. Mm -hmm. We're also doing a lot of stuff in the teen, That's the right. teen room. Yeah, tell we, us about that. Well, we have Kelly, our new one of our new librarians, has been very active with the teen community. So she's really stepped up the, the teen programming. One of the things that she's doing. Uh, this summer is uh, is uh, gaming. <laughs> I got to remember. Okay. Is we're, we're we're doing kind of a gaming challenge for teens, so they okay. can come into the teen zone. We've got the gaming systems in there, and and we're letting the kids play. Kelly's going to be down there working with them, and we're really it's it's nice to see that we're building up our teen relations again, and and. Uh, it's great to have them in the library. Tuesday, 2.30 to 4.30. Tuesday. And it's a nice, it's a separate room all by yep. itself. It's brightly decorated. It's it's a, a cool place to hang out, I think. I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a geek <laughs> anyway, but I've always loved the library. And it's got that wonderful painting in there, the, the Buccaneers. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. So, um, you know, it, your library is not your grandmother or grandfather's library. It's not no. a stodgy old place where you don't get to do stuff and people aren't telling you to shh all the no. time. Correct, correct. Correct. I mean, I, we have concerts in the library all yeah, the time. All music the, yep, and, and lectures, and there were right. like six things going on all at the same time. There actually aren't enough parking spaces <laughs> no. or aren't enough hours in a day <laughs> to do them all, but that's okay. Um, then we get into um, something a little more serious. June 8th mm -hmm. uh, in the afternoon from 2 to 4.30, Young Kids and Violence, tell us about that. Well, it's a program that we're running to, to, to talk about, to have a, a dialogue and instructive session about how young kids are, are encountering violence in their communities, how they're dealing with violence in their communities. And we're gonna try to give some support and some, some, some support mechanisms. Uh, we have several guest lecturers coming in that day, a former gang member who's now a business leader will be speaking. Um, it's, it, it is a serious topic, but it's one that we can't neglect. And the one thing we try to do at the library, as you know, is we, we, we want to engage every aspect of our community, not just the, the fun things. We want to talk about the serious things. We want to make sure that, that the city is, has a place to go where they're welcomed and where talk, con conversations like these can be had in a safe and welcoming environment. There aren't enough things going on that day. The Charity Guild's oh, doing an event. Mary <laughs> Walden's doing her last wiffle ball event. Yeah. Now we get this. Let's, let's add it to the mix. <laughs> That's Why right. not? That's right. And then we go into the week of the 15th, which is your su the summer reading kickoff. Right. We're having, every year we do summer reading. It's, it's a statewide program mm -hmm. um, where kids are encouraged to read throughout the summer. We have the summer reading materials for the school systems, for all the school systems in Brockton. And kids can come in, borrow the books, read the books. Uh, when they're done, they can, they can check off on a, on, a, on a passport what they've done. At the end of the summer, we have a big uh, uh, event for the kids kids and prizes and things like that. The kickoff
kickoff is uh, who's 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 the gentleman? Who's Alex the, the Jester. Alex the Jester. He's okay. a, a very a very famous. Actually, he's been on on uh, morning shows. He's done. So American it's not Got you Talent. in a costume. It's not me in a costume. Just checking. No, Just checking. <laughs> no. It's an actual entertainer going to okay. be in there, and 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 I think it's going to be a ball. I'll try to get down there too. Cool. I think that's the only day this month that we don't have something going on. I don't know. And then looking ahead to the future, uh, library has right. been a big part of the farmer's market. Well, that's held at City Hall yes. Plaza, and we're going to be involved in a big way this year. That's right. So this is our second year doing this. The library uh, is underwriting programming, kids programming, at, at the at farmer's market on Fridays at 11 to 12 uh, in the morning. Uh, so that's every Friday. I believe it begins in July, July 12th, 12th to August 30th. Yeah, and we're mentioning it early because I want, I want people to be aware of it. Um, it's you know the farmers market. John and 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 um, and uh, Rob May they they're doing a great job down there. The library really wants to be and is a part of that. And and we want to make sure people know that there's kids programming. So you bring your kids down. Uh, it's a great and summer and event. There's, there's food for kids. Yeah, too, there's food. There's food for right. And then you can yeah. buy. Vegetables, fresh That's fruit right, and vegetables right, yep. at a farmer's market. And uh, Brockton only has a couple of farms left, okay? Yeah, yeah. And there's farmer's markets from all in the, the whole area. Nothing better than, f you know, not not freeze-dried fruit and vegetables, right. but real fruit and vegetables. They, they do I know they work different. really hard. So good old-fashioned phone number if anybody wants to call the library? 508 580-7890. Okay, anything we forgot, Paul? I got the, the three minutes on. We, we actually, actually have, have more time. time to talk. Well, we're, we're not, we're, we're, we're maintaining our, our regular hours all throughout the summer, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, a lot of libraries will close certain hours or reduce their hours, but we, I know that you're, you're on the board and we talked about that and we figured that in a city like Brockton's, we, the library is important to be open. In fact, we probably should even be open more than we are, yeah. and uh, and hopefully we can we can we can work on that next year. But um, we're keeping the same hours this summer um, um, at the branches at the downtown library, and um, you know we're 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 going to be rocking programs all summer. Community center for Community Brockton, center. Um, and uh, it, it's turned into everything. It's a social, mm -hmm. it's educational. Okay. I look at it as crime prevention I because do too. if you have people not on the streets causing problems. Uh, you know, sometimes we have the most well-behaved gang members in the world come to the library. Yeah. They don't cause any trouble when they're there. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's a safe haven. It's a place where people can go and feel comfortable. Parents, kids, you know, all the volunteer programs that, mm -hmm. you know, people get involved in different organizations want to be at the library. We're the yeah. place to be. That's right, we are. Okay, so thanks for doing all you do. Thank you, Mark. And we'll have you back in, in July, and we'll do some July promo. Great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.